let's get started so first question have you understood the necessity of angular 8 or any ui ux framework everyone one of the basic necessity we have seen we are going to learn angular 8 and this course is especially designed for dotnet developers and i will be your author manzoor ahmed and i am a microsoft certified trainer and i have 15 plus years of development experience and you can say 20 years of teaching experience so i'm the founder of mandurthetrainer.com you can find lot of video tutorials on this link on old technology and the latest technologies related to microsoft what are the prerequisites for this course see i'll take all your queries at the end whatever the doubt you get you just put it in the comment now what are the prerequisites what are the things that you need to know if you want to understand this you should have some basic understandings of html and css or html5 and css3 or html5 and bootstrap you should have basic understanding of javascript you should have basic understanding of typescript all these courses are available on manzoor the trainer you can take all these courses and you should know how to create restful services if you are a .NET developer, then you can use ASP.NET Web APIs to create RESTful services. Or if you are a Java developer, you use Java technology. Or whatever the technology you use, you should know how to create Web APIs. In short, you should know how to pass JSON data and how to read JSON data. Even if you are not a .NET developer, you can understand this Angular JS. You can understand this Angular 8 course. So these are the prerequisites. If you do not know all these technologies, you can just go to this link and you can purchase these courses. First question, why do I need SPA? I have shown you practically, I have shown you practically what is SPA to understand what is SPA before we go for understanding what is SPA. Let us see why do we need SPA. SPA stands for single page app. We need user experience similar to a desktop application. In short, any kind of enhancement to your web applications or web application development is to reduce response time. We want UI like your Windows or the application to work like Windows application with zero response time almost. Have you ever seen 2 plus 3 on your calculator and you have clicked equal to and you are waiting for the page to load no we want similar kind of ui ui experience that is one of the basic reasons for going going for spa single page app we need to speed up the page loads and the navigation for the user the same thing in short we need responsive web app without constant page reloads now we will see what is ASP.NET SPA. Single page app, your complete application is a single page. Your complete application is a single page. In initial load, it will take everything, HTML, JavaScript files, CSS. HTML in the sense, HTML5, JavaScript files, or you can say your, uh, you know, whatever the classes you have in your JavaScript, it will take. And it will take CSS3, your CSS file. And initially it will load everything whatever is required. In a single page. Even if you navigate through menus. All the menus are on single page. It means you are navigating on the same page. Between different components. You are not navigating on different pages. And it will download appropriate features dynamically from the server behind the scene on the response to a user action. If user clicks on home, it will download only that home component or home element or home tag, you can say. So, without reloading the complete page. See, what we have seen in our initial example when we navigate between various menu items it was reloading the complete page so it was partial spa you cannot say full fledged spa but now we are going to create full fledged spa one of the best examples of spa is your gmail 
Gmail is developed using single page app. Not only Gmail, there are a lot of applications today. They are being developed uh, with, you, you know, on, on SPA concept, single page app. And major mobile apps also, they are developing on Angular. So we call it as progressive web apps. Anyway, I'm planning for separate course on progressive web apps. But it basically uses your Angular. So it is developed using Angular. If, if you are learning Angular 8, then you are learning progressive web apps also. It means that Uber Lite is the famous application. Twitter is a famous application. They are, they are built on the same concept of progressive web apps. But anyway, let us see, uh, you know, what happens in our normal page life cycle. This is our server. This is our client. You make initial request. It will get the response as HTML and it will reload the complete page and get the initial data. Then you make a post back. Then it gets the response. We need to update only this part, but you see it reloads the complete page. This is your normal page life cycle. In your SPA, client will make initial request, get the complete initial data and reloads the complete page in the initial request. It loads the complete page. Now, for further request, whenever we make a post back or partial page post back, it will just update the page and the data that we need. It is not reloading the complete page. So this thing we have seen practically. Now, how to achieve this single page application? There are a lot of JavaScript based frameworks such as Angular 2 plus, Angular JS, Knockout JS, Emberland JS, EXT, React. There are a lot of frameworks which are available in the market. But why are we going for Angular 8? Why not for all those things? See, as per your requirement, you can learn any technology, but there is, you can say, strong support for .NET backend applications for Angular 8, you can say. Microsoft is giving support. Angular 8 works on TypeScript and TypeScript is created by Microsoft. We need a simple JavaScript framework that supports single page application. That's why we are going for Angular 8. And we need simple bi-directional data binding. Now, what do you mean by bi-directional data binding? We'll understand. We will see that practically. We need simple client side development and testing process. Everything we need to simplify. What we have seen uh, in our initial example, it was the complete complex scenario, but we want all those things to be simplified. So we need a framework that supports MVVM or MVC for client. And we need a framework that keeps your HTML and JavaScript separately. HTML, JavaScript, and you can say your data. Three things you can say what we have, uh, you know, seen there. So HTML means HTML5, CSS, CSS3. JavaScript means your calls to the database or your calls to the APIs and the data. We want to keep all these things separately. So we need Angular 8. Now what is Angular 8? Angular 8 is a TypeScript based open source web application framework mainly maintained by Google. This is the product of Google. It is based on TypeScript. Its aim is to simplify both development testing process of client-side MVC and MVVM architectures. So all these things we have seen. Now you can say what is Angular 8. It is a TypeScript based UI framework maintained by Google to achieve MVC or MVVM on the client side. The final version of Angular 2 was released on September 14th. Some theory. See, actually Angular is available in the market in two major flavors. One is Angular 1.x, Angular 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1 all one. Another is Angular 2 plus, Angular 2, Angular 3 we do not have, Angular 4, Angular 5, Angular 6, Angular 7, Angular 8. From Angular 2 to Angular 8, the base framework is same, but Angular 1 to Angular 2, we have breakthrough changes. So if you have learned Angular 1, then you need to re, uh, 
relearn everything. Not all the concept of Angular 1 are used in Angular 2 plus. Or it is, its base framework is totally different. Its concept of implementation is totally different. So Angular 1 is totally different from Angular 2 plus. But their aim is same to implement single page app. So Angular JS versions 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, they are called as Angular 8. The current latest released is Angular 8. But anyway, uh, today the latest version in the market is Angular 8. So Angular 1, all the versions of Angular 1, that is 1.0, 1.2, 1.3, all those things, they were called as Angular JS. And from Angular JS 2 onwards, they named it as Angular. So whenever I say Angular JS means I am referring to version 1 and whenever I say Angular 2 means or whenever I say Angular means I am referring to Angular 2 plus. What is the basic difference between Angular JS and Angular 2 plus? Angular JS was control centric. We were creating controllers first in our Angular JS and Angular JS was working on JavaScript. Those who have worked on AngularJS, they will know all these things. If you do not know AngularJS, you can take my course, which is based on AngularJS. And Angular 2 Plus, it is component centric. We focus on components. Now, what is component, we will understand. <coughs> and it uses TypeScript. The basic difference, see, I have done all research work and I have taken these two base differences between angular js and angular if somebody asks you what is the difference between angular js and angular then there are a lot of differences but the basic difference is angular js was control centric whereas angular is component centric angular js uses typescript whereas angular uses sorry angular js uses javascript whereas angular uses typescript so we are going to learn angular 8 that means we are going to learn angular 2 plus Software and tools required. We need Visual Studio Community Edition. You can download from this link. And we need Node.js to work with Angular. So this is the link to download Node.js. At the time of installation of Visual Studio, you can install Node.js. If not, now you can go through this link and download Node.js and you can install that on your system. So it will get you know integrated with your Visual Studio and we, we need a lot of things from that. NFOF theory. If you have any doubts, you can ask.